What's going on? Thank you to all of the people who have bought training. We've got some more stuff that's coming up very soon. And thank you to the Nerve Tribe for your well-constructed comments. Also, if you're looking for how to start a business, go to B-School for Hustlers. If you're looking for, if you're already in business, you're looking to expand your business, go to the corporate game. All right, this video is a little strange. Title of this video is Comfort is Killing America. Um, one of the things that I do is, well, I used to, I used to notice how my door dashers were dressing. And to the point now, because you never know what you're gonna see. You might see someone appropriately dressed or you might like see someone that just rolled out of bed and started dashing. So typically, I just let them leave the food um, outside the door and get it after they text me that the food has been dropped off. But one of the things I've noticed is the rise of Crocs and Yeezy slides. And right now, I've got on a pair of shoes. And they're not uncomfortable in the slightest but i have seen people because the popularity of these shoes of the crocs the yeezy slides it makes me think that people are so dead set on being comfortable and i'm, I'm, I'm going somewhere with this i'm going somewhere with this that anything that looks uncomfortable or may propose to be uncomfortable or may be problematic, it is avoided. And one of the things that I consistently see with people in success, because here's the thing, um, for me, I am leaving alone all of the frauds. There are many people on YouTube who tell you that they're business owners and their behavior indicates that they're everything but. I mean, business owners recommending TikTok, not TikTok, but um, Toro, excuse me, Toro, Airbnb. And I'm just sitting there like, I'm, I'm leaving it alone. I'm stepping away from it and I'm going to stay in my own lane and I'm gonna educate the people. And also, I'm no longer making content. Like, when I make certain kind of content, I know, and that this is really a struggle, to make content and to not know you're gonna get a lot of views. Because I'm not, I'm just stepping away from all of that stuff. I am focusing on people who want to build businesses and this is where the comfort goes into it. Everyone is looking for a comfortable business, something you can do from home, something that doesn't require a lot of effort. And that right there is the recipe for staying poor. That's the recipe for staying poor because years ago when I was in the boarding house and I was working all those crappy jobs, when I got a good job, and then I got another good job, and then I got an even better job, I started my first successful business. I did not quit my job. That, that wasn't even in my head. So I went from working 50, 60 hours a week to working 80 hours a week. And that's one of the things that I want to get across to you. To grow, to build, Brandon Carter, it was funny, I, you know, because I had this idea for this video a few days ago. And today I see this thing with Brandon Carter talking about working harder, getting more jobs, working harder. And it, it was interesting because this is the antithesis of many of the things that people, because here, here's, the, here's the, the blueprint. You want to get a side hustle that makes 15 to $100,000 per month and only work four to five hours a week. That's what everyone is looking for. 
And, you know, I, I found something that I found really interesting. I have found something that is cheaper to start than Turo, cheaper to start than Airbnb, and makes way more money. But it's not hip, it's not trendy, it's not now. Um, someone in the comments had mentioned that a lot of people were interested in the car rental business, and now he has a car dealership. They don't really, they're not, because anything that looks and smells like work, uh, people don't want anything to do with it. They don't want anything to do with it because it's about comfort. Now, we will tell you something that was funny. And I might be wrong for this, but I'm gonna tell it to you anyway. The other day I was on the elevator and there was this six foot three transgender. Big hands, big feet, huge breast, and a big, big dick. I was just sitting there like, what happened? in your life where you're a six foot three man, big hands, big feet, big penis, that made you want to abandon that to be this extremely large woman. And I'm just sitting there like, see, one of the things that society is messaging is it's okay to be transgender. Uh, it's okay to be gay. It's okay, and it is, it's okay. If that's who you are, that's who you are. But what has happened is it has gone past it being okay to, that's the thing to do. Because I'm just sitting here, and I'm gonna just say something, and you may agree or disagree with me, but as a man, you won the genetic lottery. Uh, there are so many benefits to being a man, it ain't funny, and to trade all that in, and go out and get you some huge fake titties. I'm just, I don't know, I don't know. But it was just funny because I see some stuff in this building and that was like, whoa. But essentially everyone is seeking happiness, seeking comfort, seeking um, the life. And I don't think there's a lot of direction because, I'll give you an example. I had a friend that I did not know was in the transgender space. I, I had no clue because you're my friend. I was like, hey, are you transgender? I don't ask, don't ask those little questions. And um, he, at one point, wanted to transition to a woman. And um, for some reason, he found my YouTube channel and he, he found some of my videos. And he's like, he said the video that got him was if I had a child that was one of the boy child and they wanted to transition to a girl, I would like tell my child, I love you, but you're not doing that until you're 18. And my friend was like, he really wanted to do it but his folks were not, they were dead set against it. And when he got older, he figured out that he was gay. And he now cringes at the thought that he may have had surgery, irreversible surgery, because he had this ideal in his head. And he was like, you know, you were 100% spot on because he said, knowing what he's went through, he said it's not advisable to let a teenager transition because they may later on figure out that they're gay versus um, they've got this urge to be a woman or this urge to be a man. And where I'm going with this is everybody wants to do whatever comes to mind and that actually may not be the thing. Because you know in my infamous video about R. Kelly, the title is, I Could Have Been a Predator. I had teenage girls consistently, consistently answering my ads. 
and 99 percent of them i didn't even mess with they didn't even pay because number one i wasn't attracted to them because a lot of them look like little boys to me and even though i could have did it i didn't do it and one of the things that is a true example of a prudent use of power is when you have options to do things, but you don't do them. And where we are now with this comfort, this ease, which is being driven by millennials and Gen X, because I've started to notice this with, it's just kind of coming in through a lot of parts of society where people want to be comfortable and a shout out to the real estate trapper who did a video and I, I see what you're doing i see how you titled that video and i see that it worked i see what you're doing and he was talking about business owners and it's all these business owners who are telling you to invest in stock kind of you know like straight up um i don't think that i'm gonna be able to pull off this trading thing because I'm going to try because I keep postponing it because I got my account set up and that was the first reason not to sit down and start trading. And then, you know, for me, it's hard because like I said, I can devote a little time per day, but I cannot spend hours and hours and hours and hours trading when I know that I can do something else and make a lot of money, you know, so it's going to be hard because that's why I found it humorous and hilarious when people, well, you don't even know how to trade, you go start a trading course. I never ever said I was gonna start a trading course, but because I, the person who, keep it a buck, I bad mouth trading. I am bad mouth investing for years because I know it is the slowest path to wealth. And even if you're an investor, and this is the thing, even if you're an investor, and you actually know how the market works and you actually know how to do options, you're still not gonna make a lot of money. You'll make more money than the average person, but you're still not gonna make a lot of money because you don't have no money. Because uh, there was something else the real estate travel was talking about. You know, you being a regular person investing, you're never ever gonna get to a significant position. And he's 100% correct. But here is where the comfort comes in. Everybody wants to be comfortable and get rich. And this is one of the reasons that OnlyFan blew up. Uh, I knew a girl who was doing OnlyFans. She worked four hours a day and she was making six figures a year during the pandemic. Now her income has fallen off by 75%. And she went ahead and she upgraded to a nice apartment. She went out and got her a nicer car with a car payment. And now she's struggling. And she's working twice as hard doing them OnlyFans to make one fourth of the money. Because see, this is the thing. And this is one of the reasons that when I made all that money the first time, 2012, I didn't spend it. You wanna know why? Because I knew that it wasn't gonna last. Because see, see, this is the thing. You can have a really, really good year in business and next year your business can be ordinary unless you're in a certain industry that has scalability. And I just knew that, because I knew why I was making the money, because once again, it went to the advent of the storage auction shows. They were like a commercials for my book. I knew why I was making that money and like I said, okay, once America gets tired of this, everything's going to drop. And it was like my sales like literally dropped off a cliff. I mean, I went, cause I used to be getting like bad month was 80,000, good month was 120, 130. Then one month I got like 50, then the next month I got 20, it just drop like that. And because I'm a sophisticated business owner, I knew that this was gonna happen. So when it happened, my life didn't change because I didn't change my habits. I didn't go out and buy, well one, I never would've did this. I never would've went out and got a car on credit 
or went ahead and got this house and increased my monthly burn rate. I, I never would have did that. So when it stopped, my life was still the same because I didn't change it. But here's the thing where the, the comfort trap, because like this chick that I know who's doing OnlyFans, um, her money has got cut by 75% and now she's struggling. And we had a conversation that makes me think that she's gonna start escorting. Just kind of feeling that that's on the table for her because she got used to that money. And when you make money from a comfortable position, it's hard for you to go back to a regular job. I mean, honestly, I couldn't do it. I couldn't go at my, like I haven't had a job in like 20 some years. If I had to go to a job where I had to clock in, I, it, it would be horror because for two plus decades, that has not been my reality. So once you get comfortable and you start making money from a comfortable position, it irrevocably changes you. And if that situation, the money changes in that situation, it's gonna be a struggle. It's gonna be a struggle. And that's where a lot of people are because with this global reset, with all the things that are going on, if you're not understanding of what you got to do to make money, you might hit a good lick for a minute. You may have something going on, but once again, it ain't gonna last. And then what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Because this whole thing, like I actually went in my closet and I tried on all my shoes, my leather shoes, my top shoes, and I virtually could not feel any difference. And I was like, man, these shoes must be killing people. Cause everyone's in the Crocs, the Yeezy slides, the, the and I'm just sitting here like, what is this preoccupation with comfort, being comfortable all the time. Because for me to get out of that situation of being in a boarding house, I had to be extremely uncomfortable. When I went to rental crate, I was extremely uncomfortable. I went to panel systems, I was extremely uncomfortable. I went to business environments, I was extremely uncomfortable. And through being uncomfortable, I grew. You're not gonna grow being comfortable. You're not, you're just not gonna grow being comfortable. And one of the things that you have to understand is for growth, for you to get to that next level, you're gonna have to do more versus doing less. Like everyone online, let's talk about my favorite whipping board, Graham Stephan. Graham Stephan has a main channel, a podcast, and some other stuff. He is not, do, he's doing more. He's doing way more than the average person. Mr. Beast, he's doing more. Even Meet Kevin, he's doing more. At one point, Meet Kevin tried to get his wife into the YouTube thing, and I don't think she was feeling it because she stopped making the videos because she's like, you do that. I, my job's to be your wife and the mother of these kids. I don't want to do YouTube. And because here, here's the thing, and this is what a lot of people find out. Do you know the average lifespan of a YouTuber is five to seven years? Because to be a YouTuber, you're gonna find yourself being in a position where you're gonna be uncomfortable all the time because YouTube keeps changing. YouTube keeps changing. Things that worked last year don't work this year. And like with me, I know if I wanted to have a channel blow up, all I had to do was like come up with a new channel talking about bitches ain't shit. Entire the channel, bitches ain't shit, and just start bad mouthing women. That channel would literally blow up overnight. That's what's working in the manosphere space. That's what's working to belittle women, to belong women, to show women slipping, to show women falling upon a bad situation. To those, that's what's winning on YouTube. And once again, if I was willing to compromise my ethics, I can make a lot of money on YouTube. But like, like I said, with the trading, I just know, 
I just know that trading, investing is the slowest way to make money. I know, I know for a fact it's the slowest way. So it's gonna be really hard for me to come up on YouTube and talk about, hey, this is Glendon, and today we're gonna to be trading for these juicy returns of, you know, 40%, 40% on $1,000 is $400, you know? So it, it, it's just gonna be hard for me to even consider doing that stuff. So just some food for thought. Let me know your opinions and comments. Put them in the comment section. And uh, like I said, I got some new training and stuff that's coming up. If you go ahead and get the program, you will get this new training. And I'm gonna be working on the email for the current students tonight. So that's what I got for you. It'll be in that first comment. All right, first of all, Thank you to anyone that has bought any training from bschoolforhustlers.com. Thank you very much for supporting the business. I really appreciate you. Also, thank you to the Nerd Tribe for your well-constructed comments. All right, this is something that's been percolating, and I want to go ahead and go ahead and tell me, have I ever mentioned the Art of Holding Business Mentoring Program on the YouTube channel? The answer would be no. It was $30,000, and I recently raised the price to $50,000. Now, let's talk about why I never mentioned this program on the channel. This is the Institute of Economic Thought, talking about things that are going on in the economy. 99% of the people who watch this channel are not qualified for the mentoring program because you're going to need to have an up and running business making six figures a month for this to even remotely make sense for you. And I've had many people, including Income Cam, who came to my channel after I made my CPN video and went to the website. And he's like, you got this program, $30,000, man, I got stuff for the people. All right, let me go ahead and say something. You having bad credit has nothing to do with you being black. You having bad credit is you mismanage your credit. So Income Cam, that's a bunch of bullshit for the people, for the people. And I'm going to say something. Um, I'm a capitalist. I believe in a capitalistic society. I operate, I work in a capitalistic society. And if you don't have the money for this product, big whoop, I'm not going to cry a river. I, and this is something else too. And this is something I learned years and years ago. When I gave away, and let's just go ahead and get to that. When I gave away 19 free business courses from this website, 95% of the people did not take advantage. So I learned that lesson that you could have things that are um, appropriately a price where everyone can buy. Uh, here's the thing, man. If the person who has a problem doesn't care enough to spend money to solve the problem, it ain't that big of a problem for them. So I learned that lesson, you know, for the people, for the people. I literally tried to spend six months giving people a business curriculum that if they had opened up the courses and put in the work, they would make money. And 95% of the people did not take advantage of that offer. And it, it was a very important lesson for me because at the time I was consuming a lot of Gary Vee content. Just give, just give, and just give, and just give. And I gave and it didn't work out because here's the thing. Let's go back to the art of holding business mentoring program. What does this include? This includes something that I cannot scale, my time. I only have 24 hours in the day. And I'll be honest, you wanna know why my consulting packages are so expensive for me? I really don't wanna talk to aspirational new business owners who want to discuss and talk about what they're going to do when they don't have a business up and running. I, I simply, it's just, I've been doing this 14 years. I don't wanna talk to those people. It's not like I hate you, but it's a boring conversation. It's like, hey, you know, I got this ideal. I want, and I, once again, my time is not something I can scale. I only got 24 hours in the day and I do not want to be doing a bunch of talking to people on the phones. Like if my consulting was 500 bucks, that's what would happen. I would literally be spending a lot of time talking to people who have not broken past the mental barrier of actually getting started. So this is why I have never mentioned this program on the YouTube channel. This is why it's not even in the description box because I know the vast majority of people watching the channel, it's not a good fit. So it's pointless, but here's what I'm getting ready to do. B School for Hustlers, business channel. This is what I got going on over here. You know, I, I get a lot of people like, there's only doom and gloom over here, man. It's just doom and gloom. I'm like, I have other channels. If you literally want to start a business, make some money, direct yourself to B School for Hustlers. This is where I drop the business content. And I want to tell you why. There's a different audience over here. I can literally, I've got 80,000 less subscribers over here, right? And I can put a video up here and I'll get three, you know, 15, you know, 1,200 to 3,000 views. And on the main channel, I'll get 3,000. So I have 80,000 less subscribers over here. And proportionally, I get more views from a smaller subscriber base because the folks who are over here actually want to start a business. They're interested in starting business. They're interested in doing the hard work. So this is some stuff that I will start talking about over here. And this is some stuff I will start talking about over here. Same thing. Way less subscribers, but proportionally, I get more views from serious people. Once again, you know, I appreciate the folks at the Institute of Economic Thought. I appreciate the well-constructed comments. But from a business standpoint, and this is something that I am getting ready to really, really work on. Like the videos over here are different and it is not the business content so if you want um uh, if you want business content how to start a business how to deal with credit how to build real business credit the fastest path to wealth if you want this type of stuff go ahead go over to the corporate game get to the corporate game 
or be like this is that b school for hustlers is people starting businesses this is where the how to start a business content is this is if you already have a business this is the business game for if you already have a business now i will probably start advertising the mentoring program over there i would never ever advertise the mentoring program over here because 99 percent of you guys it's not a good fit it just doesn't make sense and i am sick and tired of people skipping over the stuff that they can't afford with the coupon this is like 2500 this is 2300 y'all like oh i want that i want the best of you glendon cameron i want the best of you i want your best training even though i'm not qualified because here's something that i have learned years and years ago when i was doing let's see where is it when i was doing 30 days to 2500 i was doing that i had someone who already had a business who went from five and six thousand dollars a month to thirty thousand dollars a month and i had a bunch of people who were new who wanted to start a business but they actually haven't started the business and that should just illustrate to you the point that if you're still in that i want to be starting something phase um once again I, I have love for you i hope you do well i hope you reach your dreams wishes goals ambitions i hope you do but i don't really want to be part of it because it is annoying it's frustrating because for someone and this is one of the things that happened the reason i have this because this, this comes from years and years ago i had a friend and i was just saying hey if they don't know that i offer this how can they buy it so every now and then i will get someone a business owner someone's like hey you know i see you have all this stuff for beginning people but you don't have nothing for me and it's true because the business owner someone that's been in business three four five six years um they have different needs they have different requirements they have a different situation and they're going to need some stuff to look at their marketing their advertising um like i'll tell you one person who got into the program because this is what happens it's like hey you've been watching the channel enjoy your content and we would just kind of do a custom build for a business owner and i had someone who had a business they were doing five million a year running the business the uh, business owner was kind of running ragged and then i kind of stepped in and just did a few tweaks and we went from five million a year to a million a month just a few little tweaks because here's the thing the business owner had done a lot of stuff correct they built a business they had cash flow and the same information that you start a business and get to five million is not the same information that you're going to get a business to 10 million it's, it's a different set of skill sets it's a different set of management tactics it's a different way of looking at your business and this business owner went as far as she could go until i stepped in and that's what this is for it's not for the rank and file because like once again this, this is one of the reasons that my consulting package is so expensive i don't want to talk to you if you're just playing around with the concept of starting a business i don't really want to talk to you i've been doing this like i said 14 years i want to talk to people I, I had a great consult with someone who owned a pharmaceutical company i had a great consult with someone who owned they actually were buying and selling gold this was interesting it was exciting these were really dynamic conversations now for the people who want to start a business this is what i do group coaching and a lot of you want one-on-one -on -one, but once again my most precious resource is time so i can you know do a bunch of group coaching i can you know 50 100 people at the same time that's something i can scale and that's why i do it like this you will not talk to me get on the phone with me for less than 2500 bucks it ain't happening because that is a qualifier if you look at the 2500 and like you, you have a company you have revenue of 30 to fifty thousand dollars and you've been in business you spent money on marketing 2500 dollars is not that big of a deal for you but if you don't have a business you just have a job you're making five thousand you're like 2500 that's a, that, once again you're not qualified and no, once again i don't ever talk smack or crap about people not buying my products what if you ever like oh you know you broke you can't buy my never but see here's the thing I believe in the abundance mindset today there is someone going out and they're going to drop three million dollars on the bugatti see i understand there there's so much money in the world there's a ton of money in the world there's a lot of money in the world and i get my share of money in the world so i don't trip i don't insult people i don't demean people for not buying my products you can't afford it you can't afford it but please stop contacting me and leaving these comments in the comment section about this program that you can't afford you want to know why you can't afford it Number one, you've not spent three to five years building a business and getting your revenue up to six figures per month. That's why you can't afford it because it's not for you. Um, like once again, I honestly, I actually thought about, you know, giving these courses away again, but all I'm going to do is get a bunch of lazy, do nothing people who's like, oh, it's free. I'm going to sign up for it. and going to do shit with it. Once again, my serious people are at the corporate game. My serious people are at B school for hustlers. That's where my serious people are. And once again, the serious content, I put up a video by Will Roundtree, the serious content just doesn't get the views because a lot of people just kind of want to play around with business. They're bought into this, well, hustlers. You can actually make, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 thousand dollars a month, not work that hard, have plenty of time for your hobbies and your family and vacation while not working that hard. I believe that is complete and utter bullshit. Here's the thing. When you start a business, you're going to work harder, not less, harder for three to five years until you shape it up, you build your management team, you get it going the way you want to go. And then after it's built, after you've put a management team in place, then you can chill out and then you can relax. But in the beginning, you're going to be working more. But so many people have bought into this concept that, hey, I can like sprinkle some hustle dust on this and, um, yeah, I can get all this money and I can be hanging out with Big Booty Betty. Um, it's just not happening so once again please stop leaving comments in the comment section stop emailing me about this program because you can't afford it and i'm not mad at you like once again i've never advertised this on any channel and once again i'm getting ready to um shape this up for b school for hustlers in the corporate game because i do have some new group coaching that's coming because once again i'm gonna say something i don't have an inferiority complex i feel that my time is extremely valuable i feel that my wisdoms and insights are extremely valuable and um yeah you know if you want to put something together and you are a business owner you've already done the hard work you've already got it started maybe you know i've had some people that i had to help them switch up their corporate structure and you know it, it's a whole different game dealing with a business owner that has built a business has cash flow because they've done a lot of things correctly and it's so much more fun and like i said i, I do like <clears throat> the live trainings are coming back uh, there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen um probably november and december and you know like i said if you don't have a business i don't like hate you or nothing like that but i don't want to talk to you on the phone for an hour talking about what you want to do 
That's boring. That's straight up boring. And that's one of the reasons that I don't even bring up this stuff. What you will see in the comment section is the program, the intellectual property school. That's what you see. You see nothing about this. Nothing. Because like I said, most people can't afford it because they haven't done the work. So once again, please stop contacting me, pestering me, asking me questions. Why should I hire you to do this versus an attorney? Uh, number one, the attorney has never ran a business. See, that's the thing. My experience is extremely valuable. That proved that with being in the storage auction business, writing a book, making millions of dollars from a book, from a book. So like I said, you know, I got some new stuff that's coming up, some new stuff to help you guys out. So once again, please stop going in the comments. Please stop going to B-School for Hustles and like, you know, like I said, I raised the price. You want, you want to know why I raised the price? To run people off. Because like I said, um, there will literally be a handful of people in the Art of Holding Business Mentoring Program per year. Literally a handful. Maybe 10, maybe 20 people a year. That's it. But that's cool because it ain't for everybody. It's not for everybody. So go ahead. Be on the lookout for the new training that's coming. And, you know, if you're serious about business, direct yourself to B-School for Hustlers. This is how to start a business content in the corporate game you already have a business you know because i'm getting ready to start talking about some different stuff over here so this is where the serious content is and this is where the uh the, the, the crazy stuff is this is where i post the crazy stuff this is where i get into it this is where i just have a little fun so once again that's the thing that's the thing man so thank you for your time thank you for everyone that's bought some training at b school for hustlers we're getting ready to crank it up give me some time to define this to set it up and i will see you guys in the next one